Hello, welcome to my channel AJ Studio. Today we are going to explain about Java multi-threading concept. Since in the last video we have seen a multi-threading concept regarding uh, uh, runnable interface. In this video we are going to listen about uh, uh, join, join method. How exactly the join method works? Uh, let us start. So welcome back. After a long time we are back. So let us create a class and we will see how exactly this uh, join method works. Okay, so first uh, let me create a thread. Everybody, you can see here, I will create a thread here. So how to create a thread? That is thread t1, uh, thread t1 uh, equal to uh, new uh, uh, thread. You know how to create a thread, new thread. So after creating a thread, I want to create a new runnable uh, uh, interface here. So I will create a new uh, runnable method. Inside this, I will create new runnable. So I will create, uh, so everything it will give when you uh, give enter, uh, control space, uh, new runnable. You can see over here, it's a uh, new runnable and public void run is a, uh, method which comes under thread class which you have seen in the previous video so we will continue with this how exactly this uh, public void uh, works and all so what i'm going to do is uh, here inside public void run so i'm going to call a method okay i'm going to call a method okay before that i need to initialize the method okay so i will uh, declare the method over here uh, i mean um, define the method so what would I do is I will create a public uh, void void call. I'm going to create a method that is call. Okay, I'll open the brace and close the brace, and uh, I have created a method that is public void call. In that I will take a variable called uh, uh, counter. Okay, I'll take it as a counter. Uh, since I'm going to increment that value, I'll take it as counter, counter plus plus. So it is showing error counter plus plus. So what will I do is I will initialize the counter into counter. Now, of course, the error will go. So I have initialized counter. So what I'm doing is whenever I call this void call method, the counter will get incremented. Okay. So what will I do is inside this run method, uh, which is a uh, run method of a thread class you can see thread new thread runnable it's a method uh, which the method comes under thread class so runnable runnable interface i'm going to do that so now i will create uh, I'm, I'm going to call that uh, what will i do is i want to create i want to call this call method again and again so that's why i'll create for loop int uh, i is equal to one uh, I less than I'm going to print for 20 times let's say 20 so equal to 20 okay I'll give I is equal like to 20 I plus plus so you know that how exactly this works uh, a for loop that will uh, uh, execute uh, 20 times okay so what will I do is uh, I will create I will call that so uh, what is the class name you know the class name uh, object I have created for this class name is CL that is a cl dot so what is a you know uh, the method name that is call okay so i'm calling that uh, okay here i should uh, end the semicolon this is uh, uh, this one the closing of this so i'm ending that with the semicolon okay now uh, what will i do is uh, i have done all the things i have uh, i create this is a class called call me so counter uh, I have initialized the variable called uh, counter and I'm calling a method called call over here from here from here this is the uh, call method so I'm what I'm doing is I'm going to increment the counter so before after that I'm going to print this okay s y s I'm just going to print so what I'm going to print is uh, the counter okay called uh, method called method just wait a minute uh, let me put it in uh, braces okay called method okay uh, after that i'm going to give a space over here and i'm going to print that okay to print that you know uh, that is a plus a cl dot 
so that is the what what is the variable name uh, its uh, variable name is counter i am going to print counter so what i am doing is you can see here this counter every time it will get incremented i am going to print that counter so let us see whether this works or not i am going to run this program i am going to run this program so right click uh, run as java application uh, you can see here uh, called method 0 it is printing as called method 0 again i am going to run it called method zero actually uh, the output should be uh, actually output should be 20 because counter uh, counter will be called 20 times because in for loop it is like that but what i am doing is exactly what i am doing is here i haven't created a thread class i haven't created a thread actually i haven't started thread actually i created the thread i should start you know in the previous video how to uh, start a thread that is t1 dot t1 dot start so you should uh, tell that t1 dot start this is a life uh, uh, in life cycle of the thread uh, after creating a thread it will be ready okay when it is ready afterwards uh, you should tell that start the thread so start is a method inside uh, the uh, t1 okay so i am starting the thread okay when i start the thread it will call run okay it will call run you know that uh, start will internally uh, call uh, run okay so since here you are calling run so it comes under thread class with the runnable object okay so new runnable object so um, it will call internally start okay so what will i do is i'll run this program i will run this program again it is not showing called method uh, it's not printing 20 it's not printing 20 why, why what is the reason it's very simple here see i have created a thread t1 here i have created a thread t1 okay i'm starting the thread 3 one but this one this one this is i have created this thread but this this system dot out dot println is uh, is printing okay uh, this one is printing by which thread is uh, it is printing by another thread that is your main method thread this is uh, it is uh, called by main method thread so it will directly print that okay without uh, uh, when t1 dot start starts okay before that the system dot out dot print lm will be starting so that is why you are getting zero okay that is why you are getting zero since it will not wait until it finishes the job so until it finishes the job this 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 is separate thread this one is a separate thread i'm going to tell this separate thread that is main thread separate main thread so what what is the meaning behind this is so main thread will print this will print this without waiting for this thread so of course uh, it will be printed as zero so what how how can i make it wait so it's very simple after this line what will i do is say after every this one uh, you should make you should use t1 dot join join is the method to make the thread wait main thread wait so but still there is an error you can see here uh, you should add uh, uh, throws or try and catch since uh, 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 main thread this is a main thread is there should wait for this uh, there may be having exception also it may throw exception either you handle or try catch so i will use a throw handles you can see here uh, it will use a throws uh, inter interrupt, uh, interrupted exception i'll use that so now uh, since i have used join now okay so uh, your main thread your main thread will wait for this this thread whatever t1 thread so until that it will not print this so since it is printing uh, uh, before the calculation i mean calling this you are getting zero so now what will i do is i'll run this i'll run this you can see called method 20 now it is uh, printing 20 again i'll run again i'll run so it is 20 why because now main thread main thread will wait for 
this T1 thread, this thread. It will wait for this thread. Until it finishes the execution, you are, this thread will wait. This thread, okay, whatever the main thread, that is the main thread will wait. Because I have used T1 dot join. It will join until it will wait for the, wait for this thread for the completion of this okay if i command this uh, once again i'll show it i'll comment this line okay let me show this so if i command this t1 dot join so immediately it will print system dot out dot print ln so it will uh, directly print counter that is why it will give zero because it will not wait for the execution to happen this thread since if you want to do that t1 dot join i hope you understood what is the uh, main importance of join so it will wait so that uh, uh, it will print cl dot counter is equal to 20 thank you so much thank you so much for uh, watching this video please do subscribe